I would have put in Jesse Stable. <laughs> well, maybe I should know. That's badly phrased. Anyway, you know what I mean. But, uh, so I'm going to read um, uh, Chris Mansell. Um, she's an, an editor from New South Wales, Australia, and um, an editor of a small press. And uh, Gabriel was talking there um, about the editors receiving his manuscript, and I'm sure they were delighted to receive something that was A, well written, and B, excellent, and C, marketable, and uh, all of the things an editor wants. But unfortunately, those of you, and there are some people here who understand uh, the Hebrew world, um, you receive bundles and bundles and bundles of stuff, and you just pray to get something like Gabriel uh, presented, and he had no problem getting published. But uh, the other side of the coin is, I'm sure, I've never sat there, but I, I've always uh, felt sorrow for, or felt sympathy for, the editor on the other side of the big desk, the desk groaning with the um, uh, stuff that's not publishable, even though it's sent in with all the best will in the world. So these are fictional letters. I don't need, I'm only going to read two or three of them. Um, they're, they're fictional letters, but they, they, a bit like um, Agony Ant. This may not be your problem, but it may be someday. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, these might not, might not, you might, um, anyway, some of them might sound a bit harsh, but uh, uh, any of you who have dealings with editors, uh, they are harsh people. Uh, and uh, cruel. But they have to be cruel to be kind. And uh, like the dog, uh, sometimes it's as well to put the aspiring person, just put them down as early as possible. Isn't it safe? <laughs> Dear poet, <laughs> thank you for sending me your 500 page manuscript entitled The Dark Corners of My Mind. Although you did not enclose the stamped address envelope, I saw that you had an email address. If you would like me to return your manuscript, please send appropriate postage. You know, in our submission guidelines, that we ask to see a couple of poems by email only. Please read the guidelines and feel free to resubmit if you wish. Best wishes, PP. I'll read one or two more letters. Dear poet, yes, I do suggest that you buy at least one of our titles. And no, I don't think I don't think that this is outrageous for a couple of reasons. One, you know what we do. We only publish chapbooks. You'll see that 500 pages is far too much to submit to us. And two, you can show support for the press that you want to support you. Best wishes, PP. Dear poet, I know you haven't bought any title of any of our poets. Although the book is an object, as an object might be endangered, the bookshop, as we know, it now is definitely endangered. This press no longer uses them. You can easily get a title through the site, but thank you for sending your poem for us to look at. Do you have anything more contemporary style. You will see from the poems on the site that the poems are contemporary, have a strong and coherent voice, and have something to say. That's what we like. And uh, a P.S. on another one is, I'm glad your girlfriend likes your poems. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and the last one, uh, here poet, this, it's not the last one in the book. It's because of this is the last one I read. Dear poet, thank you for the offer of payment to publish your work. It is appreciated, but it's not what we do. Please read the submission guidelines and the attached notes for poets, which tells you exactly what this press does and does not do if the chapbook is published by us. It goes on that humorous thing, but it's really worth reading, and it's a it's a nice way to uh, to to uh, understand how to submit and and the mistakes that you shouldn't make if you're trying to get published. Thank you very much.